Stuttering John did a show yesterday. Started oh, out. Started sure a half did. hour late. <laughs> but uh, he eventually got on it. And you know me. I'm fascinated by the beginning of his shows. I've never seen someone who seems to be purposely unprepared. Mm-hmm. He's not mm-hmm. purposely unprepared, but he is unprepared every now, single time. Now, with, with, with that framing, Carl, do you believe anything how regimented he is in the morning? He's up at a specific time, gym. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Specific, no? Cardiff, oh, this guy's you know? a recluse. <laughs> I, I, the only thing that he makes a point to show up for on time is the Yankees game. That's right. If he misses the first inning, he's pissed. Which, you can miss the first couple <laughs> innings in a baseball game, it's fine. But that's the only thing that he cares about. His show he doesn't care about. He he drove to the wrong doctor's office because Siri sent him. He didn't, in the wrong town. He didn't realize that he was leaving Cape Coral and driving to Fort Myers to his doctor's office because of Siri. He's one of these guys who will drive into a canal. Yeah. Because it'll tell him to make a left turn and be like, all right, and just drive Watch right into a fucking canal. <laughs> yeah, so that, that'll be the fun. The GPS told me, you dumb fuck. All right, so this is <laughs> this is how the show starts. Don't cross the Duke. Everybody knows that. <laughs> hey, how are you? It's good. It's good. All right, so he decides he has to chug his drink. This is after the DJ Dabble song and everything. Um, okay. Ew. Oh, oh boy. Except on you. Oh, what was that? Make sure the mic is right. Yeah, listen to the lip smacking too. I think there's more lip smacks than there are words in this intro. What was that? Uh, Okay, yes. I like it. Um, Oh, boy. Make sure the mic is right. These are all. Check, 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 check. All things he should have done before. He looks rested. Um, yeah. Boy. I got to comb my hair again. I forgot to comb his hair. Did again, but I'm not, I don't care. Of course you don't care. Now he's just, uh, now he's just staring. Picking things out of his teeth with his tongue. Mm-hmm. Um, with Cheetos. <laughs> this is the show so starts. Anyway. So anyway. <laughs> what going on? So anyway. <laughs> That's the funniest thing he ever said. <laughs> What's going on? Another <laughs> sip. I could have had a V eight. Oh, what an asshole! <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, where do you begin? <laughs> <laughs> but I digress. He's, he's a minute ten into his show. <laughs> he's said and done nothing. It's a lip smack. Can I drink again? All it's right. too soon. No. What do you guys want to talk about? Did you imagine that being the beginning of your show? So let's find out where to begin. There's so much to talk about. Let's see what he talks about. Talked to my brother-in-law for a while. Watch the rest of Spy Who Loved Me for the 30th time, 40th time, 50th time. I don't know. Barbara Bach is my favorite Bond girl by far. Scola! More liquids. Mm-hmm. Oh, he is thirsty. Stay hydrated, dabbler. Now, this is something that we see with Aaron Imholt as well. It's rewatching the same movie over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. It's a comfort for these losers, I think. But also, I don't think John can afford Netflix or Max or Amazon Prime or video. Blockbuster. Yeah, or Blockbuster. I thought famous Hollywood celebrities get all that stuff for free. You would think so. Yeah, you think you'd have like brand new movies yeah. before they're mm-hmm. in theaters. Yeah, so he could talk about them on his right. highly, you know, watch show. Why do you rewatch the same movie 50 times? Especially he's, that one. He's, he's in an Airbnb. One. The cable's out. The internet's out. And that's the one DVD that they have laying in the on the counter. That's it. That's all yeah. he's got laying around. <laughs> that and Fast Times, allegedly. Right. He's always watching Fast Times. He loves yeah. that. His favorite scene is when, uh, yeah. you know, they call us, they got those guys. He loves that. It's the funniest, <laughs> funniest scene. <laughs> those all are right. Chicks. So what else did you do? John, what else is going on? And then um, went to bed, got up. He wet the bed? Had a nice wank. Uh, uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Uh, Peter, he did Peter wet I need the you bed. to hold my ears. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
disgusting. What are you talking about jerking off for you? <laughs> because he doesn't do anything. This is a guy who sits in his house. He watches the Yankees. I don't even think he goes out to the bar anymore. No one wants him at the bar. Guys. He has nothing to talk about. He went to bed. He woke up. He jerked off. But how many Howard Stern shows started off? Give me money. With Robin. I pleasured myself last night. That's true. He learned from the best. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to point out the way we started this. He goes, where to begin? After realizing he didn't comb his hair, checking his microphone, drinking his liquids. Where do I begin? He talked about the Yankees game. Then he talked about calling his brother-in-law, talking to him on the phone, then Mm -hmm. watching that movie, and then jerking off. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, I'm going to send the link to Clay Dabbler. And we watch him in real time type an email to Clay Dabbler, Mm -hmm. sending him the link. So he had nothing to talk about. And Mm -hmm. the things he did do are all stuff you can do before the show. You don't need to chug your liquid. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Send links. Right. It's not like he. What? This is eight o'clock in the morning, and he right, have right. Yes, good point. So now we get into these like vague threats for Shuli that he has. I'm not sure what he's talking about. I know who you Shuli think the- you're talking to, but you don't know who I am. More chugging from a solo cup. <laughs> the I'm, juggler. I'm sure it's lemonade. Ah, the ch- the so <laughs> dupe the dues payer. It's it's my new favorite pastime. He's so fucking stupid. It's so easy. It is so easy. He's playing hungry, hungry hippos. I'm playing forty chess. Right. Forty chess. Yes, he's he's what the fuck is forty chess. He's working behind the scenes on something. The shoe is not even going to know what hit him mm-hmm. once this happens to him. And I cannot wait to see this come to fruition because when John talks about how he's going to get over on other people in the Dabbleverse, it always ends up happening. <laughs> yes, I'm just interested to see how it's going to happen this time. So that's going to be fun. Hasn't lost yet. Nope. No. Nope. In like three weeks, someone will super chat. Hey, whatever happened to that thing you had against Shuli? And it'll go, what? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever. Or like, worse. Or worse, he'll go. Just you wait. Just, just you wait. wait. You know, he, he loves Nobody, to do that. Yeah. It's like you're yeah. making things worse for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> wait forever. I suppose. Wait for it. Mm-hmm. So he's talking about. Surely here. Something very funny happened at the end of this clip, but the beginning is uh, more threatening Shuli. Look, I don't watch this show. Rob Saul fucking texts me. Shit where is fucking ranting about, oh, what he's going to do if I show up to Alabama? You know, there's nonsense. Well, shit where, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about Well, you should be worried about it, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I take that back. You should be very worried. Be very, no. very worried. Oh, no. If I was Julie, I wouldn't know what to do. You don't know what I have up my be sleeve. Be worried, not be worried. Oh my god. I know. He loves to say don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I was like, well, actually, I want him to worry about it. Why am I saying don't worry about it? I want him to be scared and intimidated by me. That's great. Yeah, man. he's an idiot. But this this next thing right here is the most idiotic thing. You don't. Hey, silent Mike. You see that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, there, there. You see that? Looks like a thumb thing, yeah. He pointed to the wrong side of his shirt. Not twice. Not thrice, but four times. It's an A to- or B situation. Yes. If, it's, if you get yeah. it wrong the first time, go to the other one. We've been watching John do this for years. He's staring at himself. So he thinks he's looking into a mirror. He's not. It's a camera. But the... Funniest part is when he does this, and it, he does it a lot. It's embarrassing for him. Like he tries to like, get the hair out of his eyes, and he goes the wrong way. And yeah, oh, whoops! Yeah, yeah. There is a button that you can press in Streamyard that says "Mirror my camera." It would solve all of his problems. <laughs> well, not all of his problems. <laughs> this one. It would solve this problem specifically. 4D chess, everyone. I know. Yeah, he's a mastermind. I gotta watch that again. I love him trying to find the logo on his shirt. <laughs> you know. Hey, Silent Mike, you see that? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, there, Can't there. Listen to what you see that? Is. <laughs> he just keeps oh, pointing to the same spot. Shit. Is it here? Is it here? Is uh, it here? It's is like it here? he didn't have control over his hand. He's like, oh! <laughs> right, that has to be some sort of, like, malfunctioning, like... <laughs> Brain. Yeah, Brain. yeah, right. like... Uh, like <sighs> Alcoholism. <laughs> yeah, if you show that to a doctor, they would definitely want a, you to come in and see them first thing in the morning. <laughs> 
But here's a new thing. You guys might know about this. John is leaving the Dabbleverse, okay. something he Ooh. never threatens. Heard the rumor. I know. Oh. And, uh, Wednesday was his last show. I thought Wednesday. No, not it's not his last show yet, but just you wait for it, Tukey. It's going to happen. He's not going to tell us when it happens, but it's oh, going to no, happen. I got to get back on. Apparently, I got an invite to get back on. I just have to apologize. Oh, right. That's true. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He so, loves me. So stu- Who doesn't love Tukey? No, he's so stupid. <laughs> okay. John uh, is declaring he doesn't need the devil horse anymore. And soon I'll be gonzo. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I got a nice job coming. Well. And then I wonder what the shit way is going to do then. Yeah. I wonder what he's going to do then. Because he ain't going to have the Duke. I was talking to a friend of mine. He's like, John, you know, because I was saying, you know, every announcer hates the Yankees. You got Ron Darling (laughs) hating on the Yankees. Like, they all do. It seems like a non sequitur, right? Yeah, sure. All right, Mm -hmm. let's see where where you're going Fucking Joe Buck hated the Yankees. Fucking Tim McCarver hated the Yankees. Everybody hates the Yankees. Every team hates the Yankees. I am the Yankees of... The Dabbleverse. Oh. Hmm. They all hate me. Why? Because I am the Criterion. The Criterion. I am hmm. the Duke. Right. I am the Yankees. Mm. John is the mm-hmm. Yankees of the Dabbleverse now. He's won zero championships. <laughs> no, he wins all the time, Carter. That's what you're not understanding. He's constantly laying down W's all around hmm. him. <laughs> so he's going to leave because he's got this, uh, this job offer, and he tells us a little bit more about that. And the job I have pays more than what even what I make here. And I'm not going to tell you when I start it, but when I do, you're going to be like, where's the Duke? All right. So what is this, king of the world? How is it paying more money than what he's making now? He's always bragging about how much money he makes. Mm -hmm. He found a job that's going to pay him more money than he's making being the Duke of the Dabbleverse. Mm -hmm. And, And he's making more now than he was even subbing. So this is even, he's leapfrogging up the corporate ladder. Well, we thought maybe he was going to be delivering Pepsi. I think he's going to be the CEO. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Maybe the COO, you know, Mm. and then work his way into the CEO position. I think they've, I think Pepsi's made a new drink and they're draining John's fluids from his brain (laughs) for a real super sweet beverage. Yes. It'll never run out. Melendez. Forever. The drink that's dumb. <laughs> what if he's buying Pepsi? He always talks about all this money he has. That's true. He sold his house maybe to free, you know, liquidate some assets. Yeah. So he can make a big purchase. The ten dollars he got. <laughs> <laughs> so he's two minutes into his show now. He's already blocking everybody. Oh, yeah. okay. That's funny. He was blocking people yesterday, too. I have that. So I was talking to my buddy Drew today. We'll we'll see Ooh. Drew uh this week coming up when we do the live show in Ferndale. And uh, we were talking about John getting this new job and speculating what that would be. John is unemployable. Mm-hmm. If anyone does a background check on him and just sees what he's been up to for the last couple of years, there is no way in hell that any HR department would take a chance on this guy. It's crazy. So I'm very curious what he thinks this job is. And John, this is a rerun, what you're doing right now. You're not scaring anyone. You've talked about going away before. You went away for a week. Shuli Network had celebration episodes. I was on them. And I love that he's also doing this fantasy thing that he likes to do yeah. because he's a narcissist. He has these revenge fantasies like, and, and Shuli's not going to know what to do. He's going to be like, where did the Duke go? And he's going to be crying and his wife's going to leave him. Like he goes into all this shit about it. It's like, none of this is happening, John. Well, we've heard him talk about his birthdays before, how he expects birthday money. Mm-hmm. So he obviously expects a, a, a payload of super chats because yes. he might be going away. Oh, maybe that's what it's like. You guys better start paying me more money or else I'll go get this job that pays a million dollars a year. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The king of the world. King of the world. (laughs) What happened to all these ironclad lawsuits where he was going to own all our houses? Well, he does discuss that a little bit because it turns out he has all the evidence he needs to counter sue Vince the lawyer. (laughs) Oh, what? Yes. What's happening? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. No, it's Saturday, so they're on the outs. There's only one person, well, besides Vince, who sues people here. What? That's me. Sued Sharon Stone. Oh, God. One. 
They settled out of court. Settled. They yeah. settled out of court. Yeah. You didn't win a lawsuit against Sharon Stone. Stop right. it with that. You're a nuisance. Her and, guy was in the wrong. He attacked you. He hit you. Yeah, you they had settled. actual medical bills. Right. So they settled something, with you. 30 grand. Something actually happened to you. We'll give you that one. But he could have probably made a lot more money if he had actually gone to court. He just, they said yeah. that's why you settle to pay oh, last Oh, God. Money. Yeah. He heard, what, what was it, like 30, 30 grand? 30 grand, something. I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. Please, please. Serious XM lost, but they had to rewrite the law. At least I changed the law for the what? better, and the George the Carlin's law. family can thank me for that. George Carlin's family can thank me. They had to He's rewrite the law. Him. It's it's crazy that he would say that. I, I hope he doesn't actually think that's true. It literally got laughed out of court. Yeah, he, do, he definitely I, thinks I, that. I listened to that. Michael Polpak. I actually went back and listened to his argument in front of those judges. He was bringing up that John averaged $35,000 a year salary at K-Rock. What that has to do with Sirius XM is beyond me. I'm like, Michael mm-hmm. Polpak's a fucking moron. I, I don't know what kind of argument you're even trying to make here. He didn't know what argument he was trying to make. It's like, they're playing John's stuff. And he didn't get paid very much. Like, K, what do you want me to do? Make Sirius pay him? Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. It's, <laughs> yeah. it sucks Here's for my you. time machine. <laughs> <Your client's> <laughs> stupid, <laughs> time machine sir. Back in time, John, and get paid what you should have. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, that was like a pro bono case. So the guy, I, I guarantee the guy put like zero effort into the case. He wanted the publicity of it. He's like, oh, so yeah, John Howard Stern, Sirius XM. That get his name it. out there. Probably worked. I know he was doing his lawyer show on YouTube, Midas Touch Brothers and stuff like that. So probably helped him. I mean, we know his name now. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. We all know his name. But it's so crazy that he thinks that they rewrote the right to publicity law based on that lawsuit that was laughed out of court, <laughs> thrown out with prejudice. It's insane. And the fact that George Carwin's family won had to do with an AI voice doing a full hour-long George Carwin set that was god-awful. And they're like, no, don't put my dad's name on this. He didn't do any of this. He Apples would never and do, oranges. He would never do any of this. It's, yeah, it's not even close to the and same Popak thing. And Popak had to explain all this to him anyways. Right. On his show. Can... You, you, Carl, you know people that know law stuff. Yeah, I do, yeah. I believe you've had them on the show once or twice. Yeah. Could they maybe uh, research the Carlin case and see if the case of Melendez versus Sirius XM was cited anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Let, let me do that research right now, Cardiff. It wasn't. It had oh. nothing to do with <laughs> okay, this. Good. You're good. You're <laughs> yeah, bad. I'm pretty quick on this one. No, wow. it had nothing fucking to do with that. John's an idiot, and he thinks that we're stupid, too. That's the thing. Dumb people think everyone else is just as dumb as they are. <laughs> You see it time and time again. But this is John explaining that obviously he settled with Vince, this $12.5 million lawsuit, Mm -hmm. but he could have countersued. You have no idea the holes in Vince's case. If I would have countersued Vince, I would have probably walked off with a decent amount of money. Okay. Then do it. Because of the things he said on Rob Saul's show and the things that he doesn't know he said on my show that I have time stamped. You should see my legal. No- I have. I have uh, a legal. The photoshops. Guy. That's right. You know- <laughs> no, yeah. That's that's a funny line, but he actually said something even funnier Sorry. than that. No, that this- yeah, listen to that. No, he said on my show <laughs> that I have time stamped. You should see my legal. No- I have. I have uh, a legal pad. <laughs> wow, he's a legal pad. Yeah, he, I thought they always sold those to lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> How's that possible? Took a trip to Staples? Oh, no. It's right, you know, the long yellow ones? No, it's a Dollar and Tree I legal pad. every single thing. Hole number one. Hole number two. This is like a child yes. telling their mom what they did at school This that is day. his Einstein's IQ argument. Right. So he looked up. Einstein. Yes. <laughs> see? See? This is proof. I'm just as smart as Einstein. <laughs> Hole number three. Hole number you think one of his bedroom walls has pins and string? Yes. All over. <laughs> it just says, duh. Er, er, um. <laughs> one. Hole number two. Hole number three. Hole number four. Show off. Timestamp, 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 timestamp. Every single thing. So he did all this work for nothing? Right. Right. But he could sue Vince the lawyer easily. But, but why not put that energy into an actual show? No, 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 no. Instead no. of just doing that, something that, that, that will never come to fruition. Tukey, he's the best. He's the Yankees of the devil verse. You think he needs to put yeah, more true. effort into this? What, are you that's crazy? True. That's true. I mm-hmm. mean, Mickey Mantle famously would drink himself stupid every single night and still show mm-hmm. up to the ballpark and hit 50 home runs a year. This well, is what he, this is who John is. He doesn't need to. He is like Mickey Mantle of <laughs> yeah, the Dow He doesn't, doing that. <laughs> he doesn't need to put any effort in. He's the greatest. No, yes. <laughs> Now, I settled with Vince. Why? Well, 
I never really hated mints. That's not why you settle a lawsuit because I'm you don't. Just, I don't hate the guy. Yeah, but it's a, it's a lawsuit. It's nothing to do with your whether you like the guy or he not. He's a child. He's a child. He said shit that pissed me off, like he did to Rob Saul. Vince doesn't realize words have meaning, oh, and words oh, are <laughs> words hurt. Are yeah. Words have meaning. Very important. No, I have feelings. What you say <laughs> is very important. So when you say things, and you're a lawyer. Like you're a retard. <laughs> then you could only expect someone is going to believe you. He thinks someone's <laughs> going to believe Vince, the lawyer. Yes, lawyers are the most respected people <laughs> right. in yes. the land, Carl. Do you imagine if a lawyer was lying about something? That'd be crazy. Like profits. They're like modern day profits, these lawyers. Everyone believes John them. And is so stupid. I've been trying to explain this to John, but I guess no one's posting it and Julie's anonymous, so he hasn't seen it. But I've been trying to tell John, Vince the lawyer shtick, and it's not even a, a shtick, it's like how he acts in his normal life, it's just what he does, is he just says the opposite of the truth all the time. He's just trolling everyone all the time. And John goes, you know, Vince the lawyer has to understand that he's gonna, if he's going to lie, he's going to get in trouble for that. No, he understands perfectly. He's never going to get in trouble for lying. That's what he does. Nonstop. And John goes, I, this Vince the lawyer guy, I could have sued him because he was making up stories that weren't true. <laughs> okay. If you say so. <laughs> Let's get back to how John is on top, though. He's the Yankees of the dabble verse, and he explains how you would measure such a thing. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you look at it, how you cut it, whether it be socially, fatherly, career, doesn't matter. <laughs> I've Nationality. Way beyond these losers. I can't believe that when he's talking about how he's better than everyone else, his first two were socially and fatherly. Yeah. Socially, he has no friends. He's watching a movie he's seen 50 times. After the Yankees game is over. And fatherly is even worse. Fatherly is way worse. His kids don't talk to him. I, don't, I, I bet he doesn't even know where his kids live. I wouldn't be surprised. He knows how we're Harvard is. So he's always got one of them. Yeah. He knows one of them. But this is this is insane that he's acting like he's better than people based on socially. Because mm -hmm. he talks to people on the phone all day long. Super chatters. John, Maybe Len, heard Lenny Dykstra recently. would do your show. <laughs> right. What does that tell you? Don't forget also careerly. Careerly, <laughs> too. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's got us there. Yes. He's the Yankees of the dabble verse if, if it was a Special Olympics team, for sure. This is Ooh. John playing a game by himself here. You know, we like to play games oh, yeah. on the show with uh, Carter to put some together for us. He doesn't have uh, anyone else on a show, so he has to do it by himself. <laughs> <laughs> the NBA waited for like 30 minutes. That's why I'm late. Well, what would happen was, believe it or not, take a guess how much it costs to change a title. All right. From California to Florida. All right. Here take we go. a guess. Game oh, bucks. No. Yeah. 50. No. $75? $40.95. $1. Holy oh, you guys all lose. Wow. See? <laughs> <laughs> you losers. Now, much like Mario Bosco bringing up how much it costs to take comedy lessons, mm -hmm. we're going to find out that John both is acutely aware of how much it costs, but also doesn't give a fuck. But did he shooly them down? That's a lot of dough. <laughs> I don't think you can shooly the DMV. Shooly's a piece of shit. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Shooly's a piece of shit. It's a lot of dough for fucking tags. How dare you. Don't matter. <laughs> Not a big deal. Mere bag of shells for the Duke. But I got my tags now. He sent the cost down to the pennies. Yeah. And then he goes, but doesn't matter. And you can tell he's hurting himself saying this. Oh, yeah. Look at his mm -hmm. facial expressions as he's talking about how that's just shells to him or what a bag of <laughs> shells or whatever the fuck he says. This is insane. Tags. Don't matter. Look at his face right here. I know. Mm -mm. He's got his balls and coffee. Not a big deal. Mere bag of shells for the Duke. Yeah. But you said it so confidently, John. Right. I can yeah. tell my tags now. I, I can tell it didn't bother you at all. Showing out 440 bucks at the That's DMV. Why he brought it up. Yep. All right. This is uh you were talking about Cardiff. He's already blocking people on the show today. Oh yeah, within minutes. Okay. This is what he was doing yesterday. Now remember, he's gonna leave the Dabbleverse. So I don't even know why this matters. These are like the last shows he's ever gonna do. 
So wait, real quick, quick, Carl, yeah. I just looked up. I don't know if this information is correct, but I'm looking up how much it is to transfer tag over oh. the plates, and it's, it's, it's forty five dollars. That sounds more realistic. I'm wondering if he had to get a new title because he just lost his title. Oh, oh. yes. Because yeah. that that he doesn't want to pay well, back. Uh, let's see. Or what happens, too, when you go and do that, you've got to pay all your unpaid parking tickets. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. To get your new I tag. do know, moving from Jersey to Colorado, it was like the registration. I mean, there were registration fees, but he said transferring a title. Well, he needed to get his car registered because that's what he got pulled over for. Oh, then, yeah, of course it's going to be. And he also probably had to pay the ticket for that as well. Right. New, new vehicle title, $77, is what it's saying. He had fines. He had to get the well, plates. No, well, yeah, a new vehicle. Right. Either. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Why didn't you just buy it from his mom? <laughs> Let's speculate. It's a new vehicle. <laughs> so on the show here, people in the chat are typing L in the chat. That's not mm. nice. It's not nice. <laughs> oh no! That's not going to make him feel. I'm just going to keep on blocking these L guys. It's L guys, just because it's you know, nice. even though I don't really <laughs> care about it, he doesn't well, care. I let them disrupt wish, the people that do care. I wish people were typing "gay" in so, the chat. I don't give a fuck. Just, I'm going to start blocking just, these gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's both blocking everyone who types L and also saying he doesn't give a fuck. Well, they do care. So I don't give a fuck. Just. Mm-hmm. Just block him. John is a pedophile. Goodbye. <laughs> Super chatter, by the way. The Goodbye. king of Idaho. Goodbye. Why? That's a royalty. Oh, was that Fudge Sickle? Let me block him. <laughs> Did I just see Fudge Sickle in here? Jesus. I'll block that asshole immediately. Why is, he, why is he doing this? Why is he blocking everyone just for typing L in the chat? It's the only power he has. Yeah. But I was watching this live, and for the next 20 minutes, Fudgesicle was still like, still here, John. That's I, think, <laughs> I think this is him trying to be defiant to Vince. Oh, right. He's fucking over Vince. There yeah. is something going on with that. I think what's happening is, and this is speculation. I don't know any of this. Well, I kind of know this because he, they did bring it up when Vince was on the show the other day, where John's paying Vince in installments. So whatever they settled for, I heard it was $2,000. John claims it's less than that. What we settled for? John didn't have the cash to pay. Twelve point five million to two thousand. <laughs> How talking. can you not say that with a straight face? This is what Vince this does. Is all bullshit. It's, it's, it's so stupid. And so I think that John, it, now that he's having him back on the show and they're buddies, John's like, "Well, I'm not going to pay this fucking guy." Right. So I don't think John's paying Vince. And so now he's starting to turn on Vince because Vince is like, "Hey, man, where's that money? You owe me." Yeah. <laughs> and here's. Some evidence of that. Someone posted this on Dabbler's Anonymous. And uh, John is so stupid. He doesn't even know his own story. Like, we know John better than he knows himself, Mm -hmm. which is crazy. But this is John making fun of Vince the lawyer. Vince, you are a moron. All right. You know, I used to think you had some... Some level of intelligence you didn't get into Columbia firsthand. You had to transfer, so it should have an asterisk uh, next to your Columbia degree because you didn't get in like straight from high school. It takes a real genius to get in straight from high school. Calling someone a moron while you have food falling out of your mouth <laughs> doesn't help. But <laughs> also an asterisk. Okay, we'll right. give you an asterisk. <laughs> and he's saying that it's not a, a real four-year degree because he had to transfer from another school. John went to Nassau Community College because in high school he had two B's, nine C's, five D's, and two F's. But that was his plan. <laughs> That's a fact check. <laughs> yeah. well, that, was his, that was the plan, though. He didn't want to try in high but school. But shouldn't there be an asterisk next to his <laughs> diploma, sure. though? His degree? <laughs> Thank you, Jay Snappa. Wasn't there an asterisk uh, on a website or something with uh, graduates of NYU? I thought he did have yeah, that. Yeah, there was an asterisk yeah. on his Wikipedia, on the NYU Wikipedia yeah. is uh, not graduated. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Tended. why would he even bring that up? He's so stupid. He really is. He forgot guy. how he learned that. He's the dumbest. <laughs> yeah, right. He's the dumbest guy. I say it all the time, Carl. He's the dumbest man alive. He really is, and it's fascinating. That's why we love him. That's why the Devilvers exist. Thank you, John. Don't mm-hmm. ever change. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I just realized something. We are coming up on YouTube payday. Do you think oh. uh, John takes that YouTube payday and then nukes his channel? 
I was thinking about that too. There was speculation on that in Dabo's Anonymous. It, it is well, it no. is cyclical with these mm-hmm. guys, and John specifically. Once the twenty first hits, all mm-hmm. of a sudden, in his mind, he gets paid that much every day of his life. Right, king shit of fuck down. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Mm-hmm. So long, Stinkberg. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then a few weeks goes by, and he starts drinking the premium beers. Yeah. And he treats himself to steak. PBR. Yeah. And then yes, a few weeks goes by. A lodge today. <laughs> and then he's back. He's right back to you fucking cheap steaks. Better start super chatting me. <laughs> <laughs> that money didn't last as long as they thought. <laughs> Podcast W-A-T